Hey, hey, Project Lifers, I am back for week 32 in my 2021 Project Life album. This album is a 6x12. Um, I recently moved to the size after about six months of Project Life in a 6x8 album, and I thought that that was going to just be enough room. But really, I found out that I just needed a few more spots for those um, 4x6s. So we have moved up. Um, this week was a pretty chill week. We have been doing a lot of summer things and went to uh, a food truck. Um, I think it was our first one since the pandemic. So my little guy definitely loved that and got his funnel cake. As you can see on the top, he loves those darn things with apple filling all over the top of them. Um, we are using an L Studio kit as I do most of the time during my project life. I feel like it just kind of fits our style and our lives a little bit better. There is an occasion that I use um, L or Allie Edwards and I am venturing back into those in 2022 a little bit by doing more storytelling. But for the most part, 2021 is going to be mostly L Studios. So all right, so right now we've got all of our cards all organized and out. Now it is time to embellish a little bit, just going through all of those word phrase stickers. Who spends thousands of hours going through word phrase stickers? No, just me. Um, <laughs> I do. Like I cut out so much footage of me just staring at word stickers. It's our word phrase stickers. It's amazing. Anyways, that is a picture of my flowers. They did it so amazing last year. I can't wait to start doing my deck flowers again this year. Last year, it was just like so humid all year that my flowers just literally created a jungle pretty much on our deck. So um, next, we took the boys to the beach to do their like inflatable island type thing. They always love doing that every year. Um, and we get together with the cousins and do all that. Then, let's see, we're just going to put all everything away in the um, page protectors. Usually whenever I have a three by two three by fours and a four by six, because I was working with three four by six pocket page. Is that what I want to call it? Yeah, a pocket page with three four by sixes in it instead of the usual two and then the three by four in the middle. Um so I will tape those together. Um, that's where my train of thought was going there. Uh, the next one, then I realized, oh shoot, I needed a new one. And because I was actually going on to an, a later spread that I have done for September, um, I did a random spread when like it was that time of year. So I'm like, oh, nope, we can't do that on that one. So we needed a new one. Uh, this is just a picture of me that my husband took. Amazingly, he never takes pictures of me usually <laughs> holding all of the um, food truck food, pretty much. And then a pizza that my husband got um, there. And that's pretty much the stories that I had this week. I didn't have much. This is um, a point in time where baseball is coming to an end. Um, and honestly, the week in two weeks after baseball ends, we kind of go into like Herbert mode because um, we've been doing all of the things. So the kids want to just sit at home. Um, I believe it was pretty warm this week. And so um, it looks like it rained because it looks like our puppy there was covered in mud. <laughs> so let's just do that four by six card. I'm using just some scrap paper. Um, and it looks like I had just gotten that archival black ink from close to my heart, which I absolutely love using my medium Jane stickers. And this was before I got my metal dies, which I'm obsessed with at this point because I don't have to do any more fussy cutting. So normally if I was down here doing projects where I had to fussy cut, um, all of these letters out, I would think about projects ahead of time, stamp them all out, and then go upstairs and fussy cut them while I'm watching a show with my husband or something like that. But now, I the L Studio came out with the metal dies for those um, stamps, and I couldn't be more excited. Honestly, I literally did a dance when I seen those metal dies come out. So, uh, just stamping with my date stamp there. 
the date and then putting a week above and I believe we will end this with just putting week 30 I think or 32 this is week 32 um I think I just put week of at this point I think I've changed over um to just putting week of because the number really doesn't matter the only time the number of the week actually matters is when I'm doing these videos and keeping track of which week is done in like my bullet journal and my planner um otherwise I don't really care in actual week in the project itself which week it is because I don't know which week coincides with like week 32 anyways right so anyways thank you so much for being here definitely hit that subscribe button if you are new and if you are not I would love a love a thumbs up it definitely helps my channel and I will talk to you guys soon bye